Aloha everybody, this is Jim from Hawaii um, with an update on my dual loop system. For those of you who haven't been watching my past videos on my dual loop system build and uh, so on, um, just a little update. One of the things that really um, bothers me is uh, making sure that the, the fish water, the fish tank is clean, as clean as I can get it. So I'm always trying to figure out ways to, to clean it up even more. Um, as you may or may not know, I have built this uh, sieve filter here. It basically has 100 micron screens, and the 100 micron screens uh, filter the water, and then the water goes down to that trough. And then there's another pail sitting on the side of this. 55 gallon barrel and then the water goes through those 100 micron socks which are just uh, socks sitting sitting in here it's flush mounted there the water just goes in and it goes back into the into the barrel which goes back into the sump tank and that's doing a good job but it's not catching everything I have a little bit of tinting it's getting the solids but I still have some tinting in my water. One of the things I came up with is this little sand filter. It's just this horizontal pipe here uh, about I don't know 48 inches or 50 inches or so and as you can see on the right there's a little black hose that goes into the fish tank that's connected to a small 70 gallon per hour fountain pump. And so it, it pumps the water out of the fish tank into this white pipe. Most of this, the pipe is filled with sand. And um, the top is, as you know, those vertical pieces of the pipe. So it's filled with uh, really small, like eighth inch gravel. So it goes through, it comes out here, and then it goes into this 100 micron sock, which is here. And then I just put this in so it's clean right now. And that simply um, cleans the water out of, the, uh, out of the fish tank. It just circulates the water and uh, cleans it as it goes. And I found that works pretty well. Um, this is a lot cloudier a day and a half ago when I first installed this. And now I'm actually able to see the bottom of the fish tank. You can look down there and see the uh, the air stone, that little round circle down there. Before I couldn't see that. So this is actually doing a pretty good job. It's slow at 70 gallons per hour, but it's, it seems to be working. So between the sieve filter that I just showed you and this little sand filter, uh, the additional filtration is really cleaning up the water nicely. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'll just monitor that and see how well it continues to to go. Um, as you can see, the plant side is doing good. Uh, the good news is my fish side pH seems to be steady at about 7 or 7.1. I haven't had to do anything. It's just sitting there right now. And that doesn't mean it's going to stay there, but at least for, for now, it's pretty stable. And the plant side, now that's that pH seems to drop, which is kind of strange, but it, it keeps dropping. It was at just about five. I had to bring it back up to about six. I may bring it up even further to 6.5 if it's going to continue to drop on its own. So uh, it's got less stabilization on the plant side than on the fish side for, for whatever reason. I'm not sure what that deal is. Uh, Maybe the lava rocks. Um, I don't know. But I'm thinking as hopefully um, as it matures, it, it stays out a little bit at least. But I know some plants didn't seem to like that really low pH. And uh, they were kind of looking a little wilty. And, but when I raised the pH up, the next day they were doing, doing well again. Uh, the eggplants was an example. But everything's growing and looking happy so far. So uh, that's my update. Thanks for watching. Aloha.